Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you don't know, my name is Nikki and thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today's video is going to be April's BoxyCharm unboxing and try on. So everything I have on my face was from the box. And let me tell you, this box is so good. If you want to see what I got in this month's BoxyCharm and you want to see how everything performs and what I feel about the box and the pricing and all that jazz, then go ahead and just keep on watching. Really quickly, I know my hair looks like a mess. Please ignore it the entire video. I just don't have time to do it. Okay, bye. So today's video is going to be my BoxyCharm unboxing. I'm obviously going to be putting the items on my face. Oh, I forgot to put an eye base on. So I just put the Morphe Eyelid Primer on my eyes because the first item in the box, I was so excited when I saw that we were going to get this item in the box. I was like, are you freaking serious? Because I don't know, BoxyCharm has been a little eh for me lately. So when I saw that I was getting this product, I was like, hell yeah, thank you, BoxyCharm, come through. So the first item is this Pure Festival palette. This palette is so freaking pretty. When I tell you, the packaging on this item is so luxe. Honestly, it felt like I was opening up a product I spent a hell of money on. And it even comes with this Get A Grip Eye Base by Pure. But um, I'm not going to use it. <laughs> but this is the palette. And then you open it up and it has the lining. What is it called? You know that little sheet? So it doesn't get messed up. But they taped it down. Everybody needs to do this because... I hate when it just falls right out. So this is the palette in its entirety. How freaking gorgeous. Also it has a mirror and it's a pretty good sized mirror. And just so you guys know, this is called the Pure Complexion. Oh, let me start. Today's month is called Peace, Love, and Boxy. So I guess it's like peace and love it's like festival season boxy charm you get it the first product is obviously this pure festival palette this retails for $36 the boxy charm box is only 21 so this is already more than what we paid so I'm gonna get started and do my eyes with this palette so the first shade I'm gonna take is this one right here it's called epic and I'm gonna run that all over my crease there is a lot of fallout with this palette, I can tell right away, but that doesn't bother me. If it bothers you, that's something to take note of. It does have really good pigment, and this is kind of a light color, so for it to be showing up so much, that's pretty good. And look how easy it was for me to blend that out. It took like two seconds. The next color I'm gonna go into is this one right here. It is called Hidden Desert and just run that on my outer crease. So that shade is very pretty. It blended so easily into the first shade that we used. There is no skipping or anything. It looks very flawless. What is on my face? Uh oh. Oh my god, you guys, I think I got eyeshadow primer right here. If you guys can see this on camera, I don't know if you can, but if if you can, it's eyeshadow primer. I totally just fucked up my, my foundation, but I'm going to cut my crease really quick because I'm going to put one of those glitters on top, so just give me a second and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just cut my crease really quickly and I used the ColourPop No Filter Concealer to do it. Now I'm gonna go in with one of the products we got in the box. Let me just go over this really quick. These are the Luxie Summer Days Brush Set. I love Luxie brushes. I get so excited when we get them in our boxy charm. Luxie brushes are my favorite, well, some of my favorite brushes. Maybe they are my favorite, I love them. This one retails for $28. So it comes with three brushes. This one is like a lid packer brush, which is the one that I'm gonna actually use to put the glitter. This is a Luxie 255 small shader brush. And then this one I was gonna use in my crease, but I'm gonna use it actually under my eyes. 
This is the Luxie 209 Large Shader Brush. So it's like a flat, fluffy brush. And then this one is the Luxie Small Contouring Brush, and it's the number 512. I guess I could have used this to contour, but I think I'm going to use this today for the highlight we have in the box, which you guys will see very soon. But for now, I'm going to take this shader brush and I'm going to dip into this beautiful ass gold right here. This is the shade 24K Magic. This looks incredible, so hopefully it is incredible on my lids. I don't know if I should go in with the base or put that on. I'm just going to do a base because I'm nervous. So <laughs> I'm going to go on with this one first. This is a shimmer. And this is called Free Spirit. So it's like a light gold shimmer. This shade is very lackluster, but I kind of figured it would be. It has only a little bit of shimmers, but with shimmers, I love to apply them actually with my finger and some setting spray because it'll give it that. <laughs> that you need I would do that but I'm gonna go over with that glitter shade so I just want it as my base it actually looks really pretty though just like this and then if I go in with like a darker which I am I'm gonna go in with a darker shade right now to blend the outside now that I have that for my base I'm gonna go in with the 24k magic shade which is the pressed glitter you guys you're kidding. Do you see that? No fucking way. I hope you guys can see this because I can't even believe it. I'm actually gonna go in with Fireworks This Press Glitter and put it in the center. Man, Pure is so underrated. I never hear people talking about them, but I love their shadows. If you guys saw my 2018, I think it was like favorites or best and worst or something. I actually put one of their palettes in that video as one of my favorites and it's just a neutral palette, you guys. To think that a neutral palette made it into my favorites. I travel with it all the time. It's amazing. I'll link that video right here if you guys want to go watch it. And these two glitters mix together so well because the pink glitter has gold reflex in it. So you can blend them so good. I can't even believe that it looks this good. Oh, and the brush was good. Obviously, it applied it really good. To finish the top part of my eyes, I am going to go in with the shade All Night. It's this dark brown, and I'm just going to add some depth to the outside corners of my eyes. To finish off my under eyes, I'm going to take this Luxie brush. It was the 209 Large Shader Brush, and I'm going to go in with this shade right here. And I'm going to connect it to the top because I feel like I normally do my shadow first so I can clean up the line over here. But since I didn't, it's kind of harder for me to get that precise line. And then I'm going to go in with the shade All Night, which is the darker color. And I'm going to put that towards the outside just like that okay guys so the next item in the box is an eyeliner it's the star looks star looks star looks ultra gem longwear eye pencil so when i first got it i thought it was just a black pencil but it turns out it's like a silver color um i try to put it in my waterline but it just wasn't showing up i mean i didn't take it off so if you can see it it's still there but i don't think it showed up really that pencil um kind of not the best I didn't like it. It retails for $19. I'll swatch it on my hand for you guys to see anyways. So I don't know if you can see that, but it's like a metallic lavender or silver color. That flopped, but you know, there's always one item in BoxyCharm that just, we don't know why it's there. So the next item is also for your eyes. 
It is a mascara. This is the Butter London Power Up Mascara and it retails for $20. I've heard, actually only heard from one person that this mascara was good. So I'm gonna give it a try. I have the shortest lashes, so literally, um, I'm not gonna give you the best review on this, but I'm, I'll apply it. This mascara is actually really good. Um, I know I just said that I have the shortest lashes and I don't really, I can't really give you a good review on a mascara, but this is actually doing a good job of separating my lashes and getting all of my lashes. I usually have a hard time getting all of the inner ones and all of the outer lashes. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see them. I have like no lashes guys I'm sorry for my lashes they look good okay so now I'm actually just gonna apply false lashes because these things are just not the business and I'm gonna try and take a cute picture after this for my Instagram <laughs> and I'm not trying to go out like that so let me just do my lashes really quick I'm gonna be adding the makeup check Dubai lashes which are my go-to the final product is this artist couture diamond glow the artist couture loose diamond glow powder retails for 27 dollars okay so this is the artist couture diamond glow powder in the shade summer haze i don't know if you could see it on camera but it's like a peachy highlight and i love peach on my skin i love peach blushes i love i live for peach like peach on my skin uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply that. Oh, wow. That is so pretty. My skin looks so glowy. Oh my god, I need to tone it down. Like, I don't even look like I need to put setting spray. Let me put some lipstick on and then I'll be back to finish up this video. I think you guys can already tell that I love this box. I liked everything in the box except for that one eyeliner, but I mean, think about it. This box is $21, $22 with tax, okay, whatever. And the products in here are all full size. The product pricing is so much. Let me tell you how much this whole box retailed for. So this box retailed for $130 and we only paid $21, $22, whatever you want to call it. Um, yes, I'm living for this box right now. Last month's box was okay, but we did get the Cover FX face palette that I have been using non-fucking-stop like this thing. I already know it's going to be my go-to this summer for traveling because I'm really pissed because this broke the clasp right here to keep it close and so now it just flies open. I don't even know how it broke. It's a mystery. But this thing is freaking amazing. I talked about it in my last video. So that was a gem. I always find little things like that in BoxyCharms where I just continuously use these things that I would have never bought. If I would have seen that in store, I wouldn't have bought it. Hell to the no, I wouldn't have bought it, but it's amazing. The Pure Festival palette, the one that we got, those pressed glitters, incredible, you guys. Look at my lids. Yes, the highlighter, it looks really, really pretty. The mascara, ever since I've had BoxyCharm, I've never had to go out and buy a mascara because I just get them all the time in these boxes, and it's literally, ew. it's literally come in clutch so hard. I always have a mascara. I have like four right now, just chilling. And they're like high-end mascaras, so <laughs> that's pretty good. The brushes, uh, yeah, I freaking love Luxie brushes. I know that I use this one for highlighting, but I actually am going to clean it and use it for my contour because I have been needing a brush like this for so long. And I always go to the store and I see one and I'm like, I'm going to buy it. And I just never do. I just loved every single thing that we got except for the eyeliner. I think the eyeliner is trash and I actually already broke it. If you need something to build your makeup collection and you don't know where to start, sign up for BoxyCharm. It's $21 a month. It emails you your shipping and all of that, and it's just wonderful, amazing. I love it. It is the reason why I have so many palettes, so many highlighters, so many blushes, mascaras, everything. Like, it's because of BoxyCharm. And that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe because... It'll mean so much to me. I had to change the 
it just makes me so happy because Jordan makes fun of me about it every single time he watches a video. So I'm changing it. So <laughs> please subscribe to my channel because it'll mean so much to me. I feel like he's going to hate that too. So don't even, don't quote me. I don't know what I'm going to be saying. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. Just subscribe. Go ahead. Do it. Just subscribe. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much. And I will see you in my next video, hopefully. <laughs> Bye. It's so strong enough.